Good morning, Classroom 1A. It's time for meeting. Let's go over the details of our day. Yesterday was what? What day was yesterday? Yesterday was Monday. Yesterday was Monday. So if yesterday was Monday, then today is what? If yesterday was Monday, then today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. So if yesterday was Monday and today is Tuesday, then tomorrow will be what? If yesterday was Monday and today is Tuesday, then tomorrow will be Wednesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. So today is Tuesday. The month is October. What number? There's one and a nine next to each other in this order. That makes number 19 or 19th. You can sign that by shaking your nine or going 10 to nine. 19. So today is Tuesday, October 19th, and the year is 2021. What season are we in? It's fall, yep, and it's starting to feel like fall, which is exciting. So then what is the weather like outside today? You can look outside your windows. Miss Jessica's gonna look outside her windows. Or you might have to stand up to look outside your windows, but Ms. Jessica can just kind of look both ways. When I look outside my windows here at school, I see that it's sunny, but also cloudy. We call that partly cloudy. All right. Let's go over our classroom rules. Be respectful of yourself and others. Remember, we need to respect all people, and that includes yourself because you are a person. We respect people's differences, opinions, personal space, personal property, choices, ability levels. We need to respect all aspects of all people because everyone has the right to be treated with respect. One great way to show respect is by keeping hands, feet, and objects to yourself. You need to be safe with your body and with the objects around you. Even if you're upset, even if you're angry, you want to take a deep breath. Try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using safe hands and safe feet. Follow the directions of all your teachers. I know this one can be a challenge to understand right now because you're not working with your teachers in person regularly and you haven't for a really long time. There's still people in your life that you need to listen and follow their directions. Parents, care providers, respite workers, any support staff you may have, family members, they ask you to do the things they ask you to do to keep you safe. Always use nice words. You need to make good choices. That means being appropriate with our language and our tone of voice, even if we're upset, even if we're angry. You know, we need to take a deep breath. Try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using appropriate words and appropriate tone of voice because people aren't going to want to listen to us if we're yelling at them or using inappropriate words. And then lastly, always do your best. Yes. Always do your best. Remember, we do the best we can with what we have each day. And your best can look different from day to day and from situation to situation. And that's okay. Your best might look different from someone else's best. And that's okay, too. As long as you are trying your best, that's all that matters. All right, and although it was short, let's go over our feelings. Are you hot? Are you scared? Are you angry? How are you feeling today? Are you hot? Are you scared? Are you angry? Are you embarrassed? Are you hungry? Are you anxious? Are you cold? Are you frustrated? Are you happy? Are you bored? Are you sad? Are you silly? Are you jealous? Are you tired? Are you disgusted? Are you thirsty? Are you excited? Are you sick? You can point or you can tell somebody. And if there's a way you're feeling that's not listed, you can tell somebody that as well. And you can always be more than one thing. Awesome job. How is Miss Jessica feeling today? Same old, same old. I'm a little sad today. It's true. Because I have been every day for the last 19 months. Um, of course, I'm happy because most of your friends are here in school now. But I'm still a little sad each day because I miss you. And I want you back here with us. Even though I'm sad because I miss you, when I think about all of you, home, happy, healthy, safe, well taken care of, and the fact that hopefully someday soon we'll all be back together in class, and we're gonna work so hard and have so much fun and all this time apart will just be a memory. When I think about all that, that makes me really, really 
happy. It's true. Thinking about all of you and our future together makes me so happy. That is what I focus on because you are my happy place. All right. But with that, meeting is all done. I am going to do a reading video. Um, I believe you're going to read chapter 18 today. Or 18. <laughs> And we are not going to have our 10 o'clock Zoom meeting today, so instead there should be an extra lesson video on our YouTube channel. All right. I hope you have a good day today, friends. A beautiful Tuesday, and I'll see you in my videos tomorrow. Bye, friends.